Hey, hey everybody. Welcome to another episode of Staffy Sharks Review It. Man, we're going to have some fun today. I got my man in the house from straight from Toronto, Ontario. What's up, Ravin, man? Uh, it's going well, man. Going well. Happy to be yeah. here. Good buddy. Hey, man, we connected back in a day in March, man. Can you believe almost summer's almost over, brother? We hit it in the spring and man, time flies. Do not remind me. Do not remind me. Like, I, I don't even want to think about September being like right there. Well, anybody in staff, you know, September's ramp up. You know that, right? We ramp up for the holidays. Look out. So this is why I got you on the show, man. We need applicants over and over again. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. Good time to talk about this now so that it's, you know, wheels are in motion when it's busy. Exactly. So let's just uh, take a little tour about yourself, who you are and how did you jump into, you know, creating Hello Hire? Oh, man. So... I think like most people in staffing, I ended up here, um, you know, not really on, on purpose, but I'm a, I'm a tech entrepreneur. I've been building software, you know, that's been used by the recruiting industry for over 15 years. Um, yeah, my last company was called QuickTap Survey. It was a, a survey platform, started in 2010. It was acquired in 2018. Started this in 2020, right at the beginning of the pandemic seeing a shift in, I mean, obviously everything went virtual then, mm -hmm. but no, you know, noticing that a lot of things were staying virtual because it's just more convenient, faster, and, and really a candidate expectation now. Man. Well, this is something we need. So, and you know, I love videos. I'm all about the video thing, man. Swear to God, man. Anytime I go to a career fair, it's all about the videos. I tell people all the time and you guys are reading my, uh, my gospel here. So let's just, talk to some people about, you know, this is like a teaser today. So I just want to have some fun with this. You know, you know, we've joked before we know each other, man, we've had drinks together. So this is a good time. So take me step one all the way to, you know, the end. Of what, of the product or, yeah. uh, okay. of, of a hiring process. Okay. So all I come right. in, I want to buy, I want to use your solution, my man. So tell me a little bit about the pre-screening, what goes on behind hey. the scenes. Well, well, maybe we start with like the problem, right? Like today, you're trying to recruit, right? What are you going to do? You're going to post your job on Indeed, ZipRecruiter, kind of a bunch of job boards if you're, if you're you know, going outside of your database. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a flood of applicants. Now, the problem is today, we don't know who's actually interested because you know what happens? It, it's like job title, location, pay, and then apply, 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 apply. And so candidates are applying to hundreds of jobs at a time and you know recruiters on the other side are just getting a bunch of people applying now that's not a bad thing because you need applicants and you need people to show interest now the problem is how do you figure out as a recruiter who is actually interested in the job and who is qualified because another thing that doesn't happen anymore is people don't read job descriptions i i, I don't know if yeah. i know you know this no, people don't read, right? I, we have a, a code name here when we build software, PDR. People don't read. And so if it's not, <laughs> if you can't figure it out, like you've, you've failed, right? And so, um, so yeah, with the job descriptions, you know, there's a little section called requirements of like what you need for the job, which nobody reads. And so, you know, anyhow, we'll, we'll talk about how we solve the problem. But essentially, you know, you've got a whole bunch of people that apply you don't know if they're interested and you don't know if they're qualified. And, and this is sort of the, the problem we're, we're setting out to, to solve, right? hundred percent. And you know what, you know, monster, any job boards, quick click, quick click, you know, that's it. Yeah. 20 applicants in 20 seconds. Right. And you're like, okay, what did I apply for? And you know what, Ravine, every time I call a candidate, like, what job did I apply for? They have no clue. I swear it happens all the time, especially in light industrial. They're like, what job do you have? I'm like, did you apply for? So this is where you can save me big time. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, what hello hire does is we essentially automate, uh, and figure out, well, you know, who is actually interested, who is actually qualified and we'll bring those applicants to a recruiter for a quick virtual screening call. Right. And so you don't have to call and, you know, leave voicemails and chase candidates and try to figure out who's interested. And, you know, the other thing is a, a nice resume candidate and, and 
that candidate's going to respond, right? So you have no idea. Mm-hmm. Really, of, you can guess, but you know, you don't, you don't really know. And so we let Hello Hires process figure out. Okay, well, who's interested? Who's qualified? Let's schedule them with a recruiter and do it all in an automatic way. So you don't have to think or do anything. Um, and then you just show up and interview a lineup of, of or at least a, a queue of people scheduled for back-to-back interviews, right? And, and we know the face-to-face on video or in person is the way to go. When you're on the phone, it's great. But when you have a video and you see their demeanor, you, just like us now, you know, you see my expression, you know how to respond to that. So, and that's how you build a relationship, I think, 100%. Totally. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm in scenarios where I'm on video calls all day and when there is, you know, some people just decide, Hey, I don't want to, it's not a, a video day today. And so they're going to turn their, their <laughs> screen. Up. I hate those. I just, it's, I can't yeah. read the person. I can't vibe with you. It's just like, I don't know. I hear you, but I can't see you. And, and I can't, I can't connect. I just can't connect. But video like this, I mean, obviously I, would love to have in-person, you know, conversations, but like, this is a close second for sure. Yeah. Good stuff. So, okay. So they get on a video. Can they use their cell phone? I mean, do they have to have a laptop? How does the candidate, you know, connect with the recruiter? Yeah. It's, uh, you know, most of our interviews are done on candidate smartphones. Um, they can use a phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, no apps to download, just click a link and boom, you're, you're talking to a recruiter. Man, that's simple. That that is so easy. Man, that is simple. <laughs> yeah, you know, another another thing about software, it's got to be stupid simple. Like if if my grandmother can't figure it out, again, we've done something wrong. You can't read, and you got to be able to just not think. It just needs to work. Like the, that is the theme which on which we build our software. Right? It's it's gotta it's gotta be easy. I love how you said that because so many softwares out there, they say they're integrated, they're robust. You get on it, shit, it takes me four days to even log on. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, really? Can you imagine the candidate trying that? The three step, four steps? And you probably believe it is. You can't take more than two steps. When there's more than four steps, I mean, come on. These candidates are just going to walk away. I would. I mean, even two steps. I mean, Yeah. yeah. Look, the truth is every single thing that a candidate has to overcome means you're you're dropping right you're gonna lose like lose people in your funnel every single step of the way and there was a time when okay that would be great because you'd only have you know 10 percent of your applicants to to talk to but in today's day where you're paying per applicant like you are paying to get mm-hmm. those leads if you're throwing stuff at these uh, applicants and and sort of creating friction, you're just wasting your money. Like I, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. So when they get on an interview, what's the average time? Do you guys did any data about this? How long do you stay on like a video re- uh, interview? Yeah. So uh, hello, higher interviews are usually and and don't balk when I say this, but they're usually five, seven, or ten minutes long. Um, The reason is what we're trying to do is really bring the candidate to a recruiter for a quick conversation, a very, Mm -hmm. you know, your very first impression, first opportunity to sell, sell the job and, and, and really um, meet the, meet the candidate. And so they're usually five, seven or 10 minutes long enough. The other thing to, uh, you know, explain is that with Hello Hire, when people come to their interview, they watch a video first, right? So nice. you know how a recruiter is saying the same thing to everyone over and over? It's, you've got the spiel, right? It's like, mm-hmm. here's who we are, here's the client, here's the job, here's the benefits, here's why you need to you know, consider this. Uh, they say that over and over and over again. And you know, some recruiters are better than others. <laughs> like, you know, and uh, <laughs> It's a fact. It's a fact. You know, some are better than others and mm-hmm. some are better in the morning when it's fresh than like, you know, end of the day when they're you just beat down and tired. Right. So um, with Hello Hire, you record it once. Everyone watches that video first right before their interview. And then you actually talk to them. And so you don't have to spend all the time explaining. It's really yeah, an opportunity for you to to really get to know the the candidate uh, that's really the, and, and have them ask questions and, and really have that inner, that connection. 
dude, you hit it right on the head. It's like a trailer, like Netflix, right? You you watch that five to seven minute trailer or that two minute trailer. That's what you're doing for the candidate. You know, it's funny. I was talking to a, a customer just earlier today and we were wondering why some people would, you know, they were coming, watching the video and then just leaving and, and not really interviewing. And, and we realized that it was a four minute, very um, detailed explanation of the job, including what to expect, some of the good, the bad and the ugly. Mm -hmm. And, and really it was a positive thing because when people understand what's involved, if it's not for them, they have the opportunity to opt out, right? Without mm -hmm. um, disrupting or, or creating, you know, you know, time, taking time away from the recruiter. Um, so yeah, it is, that trailer is helpful on both sides, right? It's convenient, but also gives candidates an opportunity to say, hey, you know what, this is not for me. And, um, you know, I appreciate that I now that I know I don't have to waste your time or mine. So that's the number one sourcing thing, because naturally, as a recruiter, we never want the can to say no. And it's OK for them to say no, walk away. Totally. Saves time for all. True. True. Yeah, I mean, you know, on the other hand, we have customers that are agencies that are all about just the intake, right? Like we're not going to disqualify you. We're not going to, you know, push you away. We're going to build our database. We're going to talk to you. We're going to create a relationship, understand what you're looking for, what your strengths are. And so when the time is right, we'll be able to find the right opportunity for you. And so we've got sort of both sides of it, right? If you've got applicants that you really want to hone in on and, you know, move them forward, or if you want to build your database, either way, mm -hmm. nothing is more valuable than a face-to-face in-person connection to build relationships. So how easy is it to schedule this? So I'm a recruiter and I'm trying to schedule, which we all know scheduling sometimes gets so freaking confusing. You're like, oh shit, I'm blocking hours off and I got other things going on. How easy is it? I mean, it's like you, you pick the time. <laughs> I mean, you pick the time that you're going to be available to. So, you know, usually this, we set this up by job um, typically uh, or category of job. So you could say, you know, general labor and you know that type of of roles or you know it could be a specific like forklift operator or you know whatever warehouse associate whatever you're looking for mm -hmm. you'll actually schedule time in your calendar to interview for that role and what this does is let's say i've got an hour i know in that hour i'm going to only be interviewing people for this job and what that does for a recruiter is there's no switching costs it's not like oh well what job am I interviewing this person for? It's like, okay, the, in the next hour, I'm going to be meeting six to eight people and they're all here for this one job. And so all you do is just pick the date and time. We can You can do recurring if you want to do it every day for the next three or four days at 10 a.m. to 11 and two to three. You just, it's like a couple of clicks and it's in your calendar and ready to start getting, uh, cal you know, uh, automated scheduling by our scheduler. You're making it so simple. You know that. Seriously. I'm like, holy cow, this is very easy. It is. So my question is, though, so you have a video coming up interview. Um, do you get like a warning? Do I get like a, like a minute or two? Does it tell me, hey, you're going to be going live with, you know, connecting with another candidate? Oh, yeah. So as soon as uh, as soon as one interview is done, you get to, yeah. you know, rate the candidate on various criteria. You can take notes. You know, you, you can wait there and before you bring in the next person, right? So there's, imagine there's like a virtual waiting room. Okay. And uh, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's not imagine. Candidates can be in a branded waiting room watching videos about your agency or your company or your client, whatever you want to make available in the waiting room. And when it's their turn, when they get to the front of the line, they're going to get connected to the next available recruiter. So technically, you could have like three recruiters over here and then sort of a line of candidates that gets filled with our automatic scheduler. And then once it's their turn, they get connected. Now the recruiter sees, okay, well, I'm going to be connected to, to Richard and here's Richard's profile. You can review it before you actually accept them in. And when you click the button to start the interview, that's when it all connects and, and you jump into uh, the conversation. 
Nice. So it's basically like auditions. You're just lining them up and you can just go one after another. Like you're in Hollywood. Seriously. I, for real. I mean, a hundred percent. I mean, I, I've always thought this, this could be a, <laughs> a useful tool for Hollywood auditions as well. But like, you know, I mean, regular everyday hiring is a much bigger problem to solve, right? It's so much more painful when you're doing this every single day. Um, you know, all day, every day, you need something that that's going to streamline the process. I love it. And you guys are integrated with some companies too, right? Correct. We are. And uh, we're also in the process of integrating with Bullhorn, Aviante and some of the top uh, nice. APSs on the, on this agency side. And then tell everybody out there, some of your customers right now. I mean, I seen them at the show. There's some big names there, brother. Yeah. I mean, we've got a number of big brands that use the platform. So companies that hire a lot of people. So think, you know, we've got Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment. They own the Raptors and the, uh, you know, the Maple Leafs, Loblaws, which is a big grocery store chain, Staples. Um, and so these are companies that hire a lot of people. Now, on the agency side, we work with a number of agencies as well, from boutique agencies to some of the top agencies that, you know, you all know of. Um, but they're, you know, their names are a lot less, you know, uh, prevalent just because there's so many of them. So this is where like, you know, Amazon's we ramping up UPS. This is what you need. Seriously. This is like, you know, when you're ramping up and again, that 50 to 150 people that you need for the seasonal, I mean, hello hire this, is right there for you. hundred percent. And, and so it's funny because hello hire is a no brainer for ramp ups, for high volume hiring for, you know, massive, massive projects. Now on the other hand, like it's as useful for a single recruiter who just wants to save time every single day, right? You don't need, you know, 50, you know, job orders and, mm -hmm. and 20 recruiters. One recruiter managing a desk of a few orders can schedule and structure their day and provide candidates with, again, availability for them to meet and, and, and get, you know, and, and interview and get screened. So, it is obviously really powerful for volume, but it's equally useful for, for day to day. And we have, you know, agencies that use it in both ways, right? They'll use it for the big orders, but their recruiters are using it every day. Nice. And what's the learning curve? One day, <laughs> one hour. <laughs> Seriously. It sounds so easy. Seriously. Once you start trying it, I it, mean, you can plug and play just right now. It's crazy. It's so easy. You, you, it's not the software that's the learning curve. So our biggest challenge and the challenge that we come up with is not the software, it's the, the mindset, right? So recruiters are so protective of their time that mm -hmm. there is a built-in defense mechanism to like not waste your time. So you're going to try to do everything you can to pre-screen a candidate before you actually have a face-to-face -face conversation. Right now, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And when you were booking 30 minute interviews or, or, or screening times, like, you know, you had to do that, especially if they were coming in and, and you had that really very dedicated time. Now with hello hire, what we're saying is look, open the door, invite more people. Actually, we never talked about this. We talked about the problem. We never talked about the process. So, Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh Give yeah. Me the so, process, man. So look, today, what we're saying is advertise your job, get people's interest. You know that not everyone's going to, you know, not everyone is actually interested. Nobody really read the job description. Invite everyone to an interview. Tell everyone who, who applied, listen, thank you for applying. We're not going to ask you to do any more work. We actually want to meet you. And here's a link for you to schedule a time to meet with our team. And that could be one recruiter behind the scenes. It could be five recruiters. The candidate clicks on the link. And now we actually present the candidate with questions that are crafted in a way that help them self-select out. So these are, remember I talked about the requirements section of the job mm -hmm. description. This is that, but a little more intuitive, right? So you know, say something like, Hey, listen, this job is pretty manual and you need to be able to lift 80 pounds, uh, easily. Like, are you okay with that? Yes or no. Um, you know, it'll say something like, 
you know, this job is a customer service job and it requires you to be presentable and, and wear a shirt every day or a tie or, you know, be on a Zoom call. Are you okay with that? And so what, what we do is really give people the opportunity to say, hey, this is not really right for me. I'm not interested. So I, we call it pre-screening and qualification and disqualification, mm -hmm. but really it's giving candidates the opportunity to self-select out. If they meet all the requirements and they kind of pass and qualify, then our scheduler, like our AI scheduler, will schedule them in those back-to-back -back short virtual interviews um, and then, you know, put in their calendar, send them reminders and do all of that stuff. So we do everything to schedule, remind, reschedule. We take care of the no-shows. Um, we will do everything to bring your recruiters qualified, interested applicants for back-to-back -back virtual screening interviews. Um, and so, sorry, <laughs> all over the no. place. Tying this back to, you know, the learning curve, it's not the technology that's the barrier. Honestly, the barrier is invite everyone and drop this link to anyone that's interested as quickly as possible because the process will naturally funnel the right people to you. And, uh, and I, this, I have data on this, right? So out of a hundred people who apply, okay. if you automatically send those 100 people uh, a link to enter. You just say, Hey, look, we want to interview you. Like, or we want to meet you click on this link to meet us. 50% will never click on that link. Doesn't yeah. matter. They just don't care. And 50% will. And so the 50% that do, you've now figured out, okay, who's actually interested in the old world? You'd be, recruiter would be calling 100 people. Oh, now, oh, all day oh. long, all day long. So now the process brings 100 down to 50 people that are interested. And then the qualifiers bring it down another 50%, right? So if you structure these properly, um, you're going to go from 50 to 25 people that will actually qualify or meet the requirements and the criteria you're looking for. Now, the other reality is of the 25 that now get scheduled automatically into your calendar, 50% are not going to show up. I don't know why. It's just what it is. And mm -hmm. so now of the 25 that get scheduled in, you're going to meet 12 of them. And on Hello Hire, you can do that in two hours. And so yeah. you go from 100 applications to meeting the 12 top applicants in two hours of actual work. And those two hours of work is you just talking to the people, period. Like, that's it. Well, what we know 12 applicants, that's great. I mean, seriously. And on any given day, seriously, we're lucky if we get one or two, you know? So that's amazing. Yeah, we've we've seen, you know, the numbers we've seen uh, from staffing agencies is is double to triple the number of actual meetings that or you know interviews, call it first interviews, screening calls that a recruiter can do in a day. It's easily double or triple with significantly less work. Like none of the calling and all of the stuff goes away, and you're just automatically just meeting two to three times more people every single day. And I love that. That's more time for the gym for me, brother, you know, get my two hours in, I'm out, you know? So no. And that makes sense. Seriously. It, it does. Now, are you guys integrated with any job boards yet or anything like that with indeed or anything like that? Now, how would I work with like, so indeed I get all the candidates there. I have to put them on ATS right. first. Is that how it works? Yeah. So you can directly, like if you're using Indeed and not using an ATS, you can just send everyone a message. You can bulk message everyone that says, hey, thanks for applying. We want to meet you. Click on this link to schedule an interview with our team. And you send them that link. Mm. Boom, done. Um, now, unfortunately, with Indeed, you don't get the automated reply because they're, you know, they've got their ecosystem and that it, yep. it doesn't include that. So if you're using an ATS and you know, funneling applications into your ATS, every single ATS has automation built in, right? And so mm -hmm. application goes from Indeed, hits the ATS, ATS shoots off a text message and an email saying, hey, thanks for applying. We want to meet you. Click on this link, schedule an interview. Boom. That's it. 
and then you just show up to interview the people. Man, and and that link, correct me or not, there's no password or nothing. Click the link and you're in. Yeah, yeah, you click. I mean, you've got to um, you've got to create a Hello Hire account, and okay. but we've got single sign on with Google and Facebook and LinkedIn, so it is a one click um, sign up. But you got to have an account so that we can send the emails, reminders, and the, the phone SMS reminders and stuff. But yeah. Which is standard now. If you have Gmail, Super Gmail easy. account or Facebook, boom, you just click it. There you are. Boom. Yeah. But it's it's super easy. And, uh, you know, we've got a 95% cat- candidate satisfaction score on average. So like, ev- like 95% of candidates love the experience. And the, I hate to say it, but the, the 5% that don't, it's... It's because, you know, something happened on the <laughs> interviewer's side that, you know, again, some things we can't control. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's super easy for, for the candidates. No, this is like a no-brainer. It is. So is there any certain sectors that you guys focus on or is it pretty much across the board? Good question. So we focus on jobs where personality and fit is more important than skills and experience. And so, mm. you know, this really – lends itself well to light industrial, clerical, admin, customer service, sales, sort of those types of hires where Hello Hire isn't sort of positioned to be a game changer today is things like IT recruitment, professional executive recruitment, where you really need like a white glove, mm-hmm. head hunting sort of relationship model. You know, for that, you've got to, you know, you're really finding the needle in the haystack. Yep. That's a different, like there are different platforms that are well suited for that. We are the best way when you've got volume of applicants and you just need an automated way to find who's interested, who's qualified and get those people into a conversation as quickly as possible so that you don't lose those people to competition you can get the submission and make the placement uh, before the competitors do. 100%. And you know it's all speed anymore. I tell everybody, Saturday mornings from 10 o'clock to noon, I love that sweet spot. It is. I mean, seriously, it's like whoever gets to it first. But also, it's about connecting too. Another staffing firm could reach out on a phone. I come in with, hello, hire, look out. They might say, forget them. I'm staying with the shark. You know, seriously. <laughs> it, it's a win-win. I, I mean, I seriously, the video is the way to go. Hundred percent, and and I mean we've seen it, right? Like in the pandemic, everyone, everything was virtual, right? Mm-hmm. Some things like you know virtual events, they've gone you know hybrid or for the most part back to in person. But things that are kind of transactional in nature, a very a first meeting, sales calls. We do all of our sales calls on Zoom, right? It, there are things that don't make sense to do in person, and so for example, asking a candidate to travel, to commute for an initial conversation doesn't make any sense. Nobody wants to do that. And the phone is just, it's antiquated. It's a, you know, a analog one way old school yep. process that we're just stuck. With. I don't know why we're stuck to no one's picking up the phone, but yet we're still calling people, you know, all day, every day. Exactly. Well, you know, my mom's 77 years old and she does FaceTime all the time. So this is basic FaceTime for the candidate. Duh. It's, it's, it's FaceTime. It's Zoom. It's, it's, it's how people are communicating today. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, you don't pick up the phone and call someone unattended. If you do, you're probably just, you know, a telemarketer and, and going to get screened out anyways. Right. Um, it's not how we communicate. No, nope. we, and we I, text I, and video. And I'm a firm believer that I listen better when I'm on video than I am. You know, you got somebody on the phone, you're doing stuff, you're, you know, I'm moving around laundry and stuff. It's like, hello, you know, you know where candidates are at. We think they're sitting down listening to us. They're doing everything else, putting the kids off to school. I mean, they're driving down the road. I hear them slamming on their brakes. I mean, I've heard everything, you know, the radio's still on. So that phone call, they're only hearing every other word. Right. And and you don't know where you caught them, right? You You called them. And, uh, you know, they could be in the middle of something, but they, you know, they want to take that call. Now on the other side, put it in the calendar, get it, you know, work with them on what works for them, give them options, give them availability, 
but but really, you know, meet them where they want to be met. And today that's on video and that's not on a unsolicited call. It's it's a scheduled video call that, you know, is easy for for everyone. Man, you guys got it down. So I got to ask you, how did you come up with the name? Hello, hire. You got to tell uh, me behind the story. <laughs> Honestly, we, uh, so we, we pivoted like most software platforms Mm -hmm. and and this is a, I don't know, maybe a story for another day. I'll try to keep it brief, but hello hire was originally built as a virtual trade show platform, believe it or not. And it was called show floor, uh, long story, but essentially nobody wanted it. And, uh, but in the trade show world, but job fairs and career fair organizers loved it. They're like, okay. Let's host a virtual job fair, virtual career fair, and we'll just, you know, have candidates come and, and meet mm-hmm. employers. We did that really successfully. And then individual employers were like, we don't want to compete with 25 other companies. We want to do our own. And so we started doing hiring events and virtual job fairs. And in one of them, we saw a recruiter doing these five minute video calls one after another met 12 people in an hour, hired three of them. And we're like, Oh, okay. Like this right here is the, is this is the product. And what people know is they like, they know virtual job fair. And so they're hosting virtual job fairs, but what they really want is a quick way to meet a lot of people in a short amount of time without doing any work, like any coordination and work. That's why they did job fairs. But it makes no sense to do that in the virtual world. Cause you're saying, okay, well, I'm going to market a job fair eight to 10 days from now and get people to sign up today and interview them eight to 10 days from now. Guess what? That doesn't work in this market. No. <laughs> Anyone in the next, you know, if you don't hit someone up in the first two, three days, they're gone. Like there are so many jobs out there that you got to act fast. And so anyhow, long story short, this is how hello hire came to be we didn't invent it it, we discovered it through you know our technology that we had already built for other uh sort of other use cases now the name honestly i don't we 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 brainstormed a bunch of names and you know hello hire just felt right because we were all about bringing people together making that connection you know going from hello to being hired, making it super easy, fun, you know, and, and that's what life should be like. Life, life should be fun and you easy, know it. even when you're looking for a job, like it should be fun and easy and a good experience. And we feel like hello hire, it delivers that just even a, as a name, as a brand. And, and that's, that's, that's where it came from, but it wasn't, you know, it, it was not the original idea, like technology we pivoted and adapted to what the market needed and um you know and and that's kind of how we got to where we're at now well i love it i mean the name you know me i love marketing man hello hire you just rolls off your tongue everybody says hello of course there it is and then hires the second part it's perfect man you guys came up with a a for the name man for sure hey we got a shout out here from tiffany look at this i mean all right there you go (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> Always showing us some love in the house here. But hey, I'm glad you came on the show because everybody out there, we're going to have a demo probably in about a week and a half, two weeks. We're going to deep dive into this. So check out. You can register for that. We're going to go into everything here. And I'm sure we have maybe have some like discounts. We're going to have a demo. We're going to have all kinds of fun things going on because this is something I love. And I think everybody out there before ramp up season, we got to get this out, the word out for everybody. I'm with you, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited. I love, uh, I didn't mention it. I love your, uh, the intro to the video it was, uh, was awesome. Oh, well, thank you, man. You your know energy, man. It matches oh, your energy. Oh, hundred percent, man. I just get back from Colorado, man. And I'm still like going at it hundred percent. It's like, you know, I was jet lagged. I'm not going to lie. Saturday. I was jet lagged a little bit, man. 24 hours in Denver. When you're from Pittsburgh, East coast to central and back or mountain and back. Right. Dude, it wore this old man wore me out. I was like, man, a shark is down. But no, I still had a couple of uh, beers and had some fun over the weekend too. <laughs> Always. I'm looking forward to the next one we could have together. Yes. And look at this. I can't even my client anymore. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Dude, hey, it's all about connecting. If you get a chance, Tiffany, reach out to myself or you know, 
Hello, hi, they're here for you. And uh, we're all a team. At the end of the day, you know, we're all here to help each other, man. And that's what I love about you guys, man. You're you're a true brother. Remember, I told you in Canada, I said, dude, once you meet me, you're with me for life, man, right? Let's go. Let's it's go. like Hotel California. You can never check out a shark's life, man. <laughs> right to the top <laughs> together. That's it, brother. But yeah, hey, everybody, check us out. We're gonna have the demo soon. Hey, thank you again for coming on the show. And hey, like I said, I'll see you in a couple of weeks at a demo, man. Looking forward to it. I really am. All right, brother. Hey, you be safe out there. And everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you get a chance, check out Hello Hire. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thanks.